hope you guys have an amazing experience traveling there. We're in the UK for a short period, a couple of months seeing Mark's family and friends. And we've signed up crazily to do the London Marathon. The last run I did before this training was about two years ago and I haven't run a race since primary school. But we met some people who said it was the best experience of their life and we're doing it for two wonderful kids charities. If you want to pause this video now, you can click the link below, open it up and like our Facebook page. That will show you all the crazy stuff that we're going to do. Um, lots of fun and things over the next few months. And any likes is going to help us get some more sponsorship. So thanks for that. Getting back to all of this, lots of you have asked me, what do I actually travel with? And I've made this video a few times, and then by the time I came to the video edit, I'd given something away, decided I didn't need something, and changed my mind. So I waited until I got back here. I'm really certain now exactly what I'd like to travel with again. So the information I'm giving you is the best quality. So this is my Tortuga bag. Um, everything here goes inside it, and I'll show you that at the end. Basically, this is going to be a very quick, um, just to show you exactly what I have and how it fits inside. All, pretty much everything here, I have already reviewed. So below there's going to be links um, to all of those reviews and you can go down and have a look through and get a lot more information about each product, why I chose it and you know other solutions and things that there might be. Okay, shoes. Starting from the bottom, we've got a pair of Teva flip-flops, a pair of Teva jandals, and I also had to pick up a small pair of trainers for a particular trek that I went on where they wouldn't allow me to have anything else. But otherwise, you can pretty much get away with these. See more in my shoes section. One pair of the smallest and unhighlighter colour thermals that you can find because they look really funny. <laughs> Three pairs of singlet merino tops that all go together with everything that you've got. One little beachy shirt so that you can just pop over your bikini. One nighty to keep you decent in the hostels. Dresses are in my dress section. So I've got one merino skirt, one merino dress for going out at night, and one infinity dress also uses a sarong, beach towel, um, pretty much everything going. Infinity dress can change into tops as well, dresses, skirts, everything. Two zip-off pants. So these are the short sections, and the zip-off look, the zip-off legs, you just need one pair of. So keeping that in mind, you need the same colour and type so that they'll work together. One soft shell jacket, something that might have a little bit of waterproofing but mainly windproof and a little bit of fluff on the inside to keep you warm. Smaller than this, this is Mark's, not mine, because I lost mine at 2am in the morning in Burma on a night bus <laughs> when we were kicked off. Um, so try and get one that's as small as possible. You can really roll up, okay? One pair of quick drying swimwear, two soft, um, um, no underwire bras, no underwire pair bikini either, girls. Six pairs of merino underwear. I do have Exodicio here, but just go to my review about underwear. Get the merino. Two merino pairs of socks, just the sports ones are fine. One small towel, okay? Just made out of cotton, see my towel reviews. Pack safe bag, this is a slash proof security safe bag, see my review. One sleeping bag liner, again, see my review. Raincoat cover for your bag. I've only got one for my big bag, and Mark had one for both, but this did fine for me. I'd take this out of my big bag if I was going on a day trip and take it with me, and that covered the bag and me, because it was a big one. So my pocket safe, this is a pocket that you sew into your clothes, you've got little clips you can clip it into. 
see my review. This holds my passport and credit cards and extra cash. This is a tax safe uh, belt and it also is a stashing device for cash. See my review on that one. Pegless clothesline. Don't go anywhere without it. Water bladder, like a camel pack. Really handy. Mini water filtration kit. A packing cell, just one to help put my clothes in in my bag and make it all um, easy to find. This is also from the same line from Sea to Summit. So one is my toiletry bag and one is my medicines. I'm going to quickly go through what I've got in my toiletry bag for you. So I need your deodorant. I've got my anti-malarial tablets that we took almost every day. Personal medication that I'm taking at the moment. A comb, because that's all I needed, if I needed it at all. <laughs> really good tweezers. These will go through on board flights, no problem. Sealable container for your soap. I had my shampoo soap in here, and also like a little soap, otherwise Mark would carry the soap and we would share it. Mini floss! Toothbrush, toothpaste. And a small, simple sewing kit. So basically, um, you want your thread, you want a needle, and you need some scissors. The needle will go through onto onboard um, boarding, you can take on airplanes, no problem. The scissors you can't, so I had to give away my scissors before I boarded each plane and get a new one at the next place. But sometimes I still, you know, I collect cross land borders, it's no problem, so you could go for months with the same scissors. You also need um, a torch. Ours broke, but you can also get the free apps on your phone, the flashlight apps. But if you do have a torch, you'll need spare batteries. Just a couple. Hair ties come in real handy for lots of reasons. So a few of them. Um, a few snap lock bags this size and a few at the size that you would use for airport um, liquid containers. A number lock, really handy for hotel doors. snap lock bag for the airplane with my liquids inside, plastic wallet with only a few documents that I actually care about in there, and my day pack. Now this day pack always has a notebook and a pen with me, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, make sure you always have some toilet paper, pack of cards, and my first aid kit. Now, I am going to do a review on what to have your first aid kit as well, so check out that below. And the last things that we took were some electronics. So, I had my smartphone. It's just a cheap um, Huawei, the cheapest smartphone that I could get. A multiple country plug. So, we got one that has also got USB ports and it was fantastic. A charger for the USB port would charge my phone and my Kindle from earphones. Try and get them before you leave because the one, the rip off ones just break in five seconds. My Kindle Fire, I could actually do um, my blogs and things on here as well, just not video editing. And this is not one that I took, this is Mark's laptop. So this is an Acer and it's almost the same size as an Air. This is why I can steal and do my video. I also had the, this little purse that fitted my phone in the top and a little bit of cash and that was what I used day to day. And that's it! Wash bag in the other, and Mark's 
jacket in here as well, and that's a lot bigger than my jacket. So you can see everything that you need. That's why I like this bag. And I've got my underwear, I've got my t-shirts, and I know this is where I put my pants. This is where I put my skirts and dresses. Like I know exactly where everything is. There's my one size. So that's even got my day pack in it, which again normally I'd have that on my front with my valuables. Um, so I'd have this on my back and it might go into the bottom of the train or bus or whatever and my valuables would stay on my front um, with my day pack so I knew exactly where they were <laughs> at all times. And that's it. That was my life and that can be your life. <laughs>